chapter, chapter 7, we're going to be talking about posting journal entries to a general ledger. So we're going to be talking about something called a general ledger. Remember, we did the journal journals in chapter 6. Now we're going to be posting whatever we did in, on, in that chapter to a ledger. Now, this chapter has a three sections. This is more, more sections than the other, other chapter. Uh, so the first section has a general ledger, ledger. So they talk about it, explain it, what does it mean, and how does it work. How we could post uh, our journals to the ledger itself, and there's a rule for it, and we have a procedure that you have to follow. And then we're going to do something at the end, which is what we call uh, preparing a trial balance. The trial balance helps us for the next chapter, which is chapter 8. Okay, so that's the three sections that we're going to be doing in this uh, chapter a week. Uh, definitely, we're not going to be able to finish it in one week, so it's going to take us a couple of weeks. Okay, but uh, we'll go ahead and, and just give you an, a glimpse of what we're going to be doing. So this is the, the accounting cycle we were talking about. So now we are at this on this level, which is posting to the ledger. So we are step four and step five. So we're going to be doing posting to the ledger, and we're going to be doing a uh, trial balance, something called a trial balance. Then we're going to continue with the worksheet and then income statement, then uh, the general uh, journals, uh, which is uh, the ledgers and all the journalizing, which we call a closing entry. Then at the end, we're going to do uh, something called the post-closing uh, uh, file balance. This is, is going to come with the other, other chapters that comes after that. So now when you set up a, a general ledger, you have to, uh, to have something in, in that kind of format, for example. All right, let's see here. Uh, I'll show you. This is, by the way, this is the the the, the ledger. The ledger shows what shows uh, the account name on top. It shows the date and description, and also shows the debit and credit. And there's also a debit and credit. So there's there's a debit and credit and debit and credit. But this one has a balance. This is what adds up at the end. This is what the transaction they go here. I'll, I'll show you this, you know, just in in a bit. Now, each account has to have its own ledger. So remember, we, we talked about accounts. Account, like, for example, cash has its own ledger. Account receivable has its own ledger. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, equipment has its own ledger. So every, every, every account that we, we, we use, we have to have a, a separate uh, ledger for it. Now, now the process of, uh, of uh, entering. Now, remember, you have uh, in Chapter 6, we, we, are, we did a general journal, which is cash, and then we have capital. So cash here is 25,000, for example, being debited. So we had more cash in the bank and our capital went up by 25,000. Now, what do we need? We're going to need definitely two, two ledgers, one cash, one capital. So the cash will be transferred to the, to, so, you know, you just copy the numbers. Okay. So journal says journal, but the ledger going to have a debit amount, which is, that's what it's been said here, it's a debit. Now, where did we get it from? We got it from a, uh, from G1. It shows where we got it from. And here it shows the balance. Now, we had zero plus 25,000 is the total 25,000. Notice that we're not going to be using the credit side here because uh, uh, cash is an asset. So it's a, a debit balance. So the, the balance has to be in the debit column. Here we could use both. We could use debit or credit. doesn't make a difference. That's for the transaction. But as a balance, at the end, we have to use only one column. We cannot use both columns, okay, for those accounts. There's one call, one account that we'll talk about later. It has this kind of property that you could use both, but later on, okay? Same thing with the capital. Capital is a credit account. So that means it's going to have a, a credit column being used in the balance, and the debit will, will be disregarded, okay? So we're not going to use this one. But here we could use both, okay? Anytime you have a transaction, you could use any one you want. So, and uh, this is a, a journal, by the way, that's not a ledger, this is your ledger. So that's what we're going to be doing in this chapter, okay? So when we get to it, we're going to do this one here. It's, it's a lot of work, as you see. Okay, guys, so talk to you later, and bye-bye.